before we even start making our offers, we really want to know, first of all, who is our ideal client? You've probably heard that said over and over again. And I have my clients will come to me and they still really aren't clear about that. So I want to start with that. Who is your ideal client? The way that I identify my ideal clients and I teach my clients to do it is to look at what are the qualities, the attributes, and the characteristics of your ideal client. So what do I mean by that? Like, what is it that you love? Who are the people that you would love, love, love to have in your business as clients? And when I say what are their qualities, attributes, and characteristics, which I'll put that up there for you, it's also in the workbook. If you type in CEO, you'll get the workbook. Um, but here's a list that I made, and I made this back in 2005, right after I'd started my business. I'd been in business for about a year. And I'm just going to share this with you because I want to spark your creativity. Like a lot of times people will say, well, they're women, they're 30 to 45 they are married or not, right? And we look at the demographics. And what I want to get into a little bit is the psychographics today and, and who's a good fit for you. So here's what I wrote out. I probably won't go through all of them because I've got a really long list. <laughs> um, but that's what I want you to do because when you're really clear and you start speaking to that person, they can actually hear you and feel you and come to you. So for me, it was that they are committed to personal and professional growth. They are lifelong learners. They love to contribute to the world. They have something that they want to help people with. They're energetic. They're joyful. They're intelligent. They're professional, altruistic. They have an open heart and they have a positive, loving outlook. One of my main criteria is that my clients are solution focused and action oriented. And that's because I can give people tools and that they need to grow into the person that can um, implement the um, the action steps to get to reach their goals and to be that person. Um, but if they are not willing to be solution focused, if they're looking for what's wrong more than what's right, I am not going to be able to really help them. So that's a really important one for me. Um, they're resourceful. When things need to be done, they they get busy figuring out how they can do it. They want to contribute to the world. They're fun. I love to have fun. So I want to be around people who like to have fun. They come to me easily and effortlessly. They're attractive to me. So it's not just that I'm attractive to them. They're attractive to me. They're someone that I really want to work with, that I really do want to help. They have a sense of humor. And they value their physical health. They have, um, they're emotionally healthy. They're bold. They're willing to allow success in. They are honest and they respect me. They value my services. So they're not skeptical and each, you know, all the time going, hmm, should I really be doing this? Uh, I don't know, right? They jump in with both feet and they go for it, um, which leads to action oriented, decisive, collaborative. And my list goes on and on. I won't keep going. But these, these are the kind of qualities, attributes, and characteristics I want you to think of for yourself when you're identifying your ideal client.